Good afternoon, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here in Chicago on May 14th. Bring you some commentary here in the energy market. So let's get started here. Energy prices have been uh, mostly firmer here today. Uh, currently, June oil trading just over 102 a barrel. Uh, so we've got a little bit uh, firmer tone. Uh, the Brent's also up. We're up about 91 cents, trading at around uh, 110.15 a barrel. Nat gas firmer up about 2 to 3 cents. Arbob uh, catching a pretty good uh, move here today. We're up about Four cents, and the heat's up about one and three quarter cents. So overall, a pretty firmer tone. Uh, equities market, though, we've seen some weakness in there. Starting to see that come down, but it's pulled oil, I think, a little bit off of its high. But you know, some of the violence that we've seen in Ukraine, which has kind of escalated here a little bit, I think it's added a little bit more free, fear premium into that market. Um, also, something that was very interesting: there's a conference being held in Seoul, and, and uh, our U.S. Uh, uh, Energy Secretary making some comments basically that could potentially uh, lead to opening the U.S. for potential oil exports. So seen as a little bit of a bullish uh, factor, uh, but obviously no firm decisions have been made there, and, and, and they're certainly not proceeding with that, but there was a little bit of talk about that. So potential here to, for putting our oil out onto the world market. So we'll, we'll keep a close eye on that. I don't think anything's going to happen with that anytime soon. More importantly, uh, what we had come out today, yesterday actually, we had API data came out that was suggesting a larger build in the stockpiles. Most traders are looking for a little draw. Uh, I wrote in our review yesterday that most traders were looking for possibly see unchanged a slight draw of about half a million barrels. And in actuality, EIA data came out this morning. We saw a build of about 950,000 barrels. So adding to you know a supply situation in which you look at our total stocks right now, Again, as I've mentioned in so many of these posts, I think we have ample amounts of oil. Uh, we're currently trading at about 398 and a half million barrels in our total stock. So again, looking like we have a lot of oil uh, on hand. Refinery capacity utilization still up year over year, uh, but we're starting to see that catch up a little bit more. We're currently running about a half percent higher. In prior uh, weeks here, the, 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 the gap between the two have been uh, uh, quite a significant amount here, and yet we've been really seeing a lot of builds here. One thing I think is you know worth noting here is that the EIA estimates here uh, in last year that we produced here in the U.S. about 7.4 million barrels per day. This year, they're anticipating that we're going to be on track for about 8.5 million barrels per year, and heading into 2015 at our current uh, pace, they anticipate we could be producing on average 9.2 million barrels per day. So certainly here the trend uh, appears that uh, we're going to you know, continue to see our oil production uh, continue to increase. And if in fact, if that does happen, I think that's ultimately going to help put and keep some pressure on oil. Uh, a couple of months ago, Barron's came out with an article uh, projecting crude prices down around $75 a barrel. Now, mind you, here. This is over the bigger uh, picture, not very short term. Um, but nonetheless, I, I am in a bit of an agreement with it. Here in the short term, though, I still remain a bear on the market. I do think it's worth noting. I mentioned in Monday's uh, post, if you go back and look at my last post, we talked about an inside day and the market was kind of setting itself up for an inside day. We saw a breakout yesterday. We saw a follow through here today to the upside. So if you don't understand how inside days, how you could potentially play that, give me a call, shoot me an email, and I can talk to you about that in a little bit more detail. Again, even though the market broke out here to the upside, Upside, I, I personally still remain bearish on the oil market. I've got some ideas and strategies on how you can play that. Give me a call. We can get into more detail. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.